These new restrictions, which have been created to make the sport more environmentally friendly, will be implemented into the next generation of Formula One vehicles and power units in 2026. It is, in essence, the same twin-turbo V6 hybrid unit. However, the internal combustion engine will produce less in comparison to the hybrid unit, which will result in the vehicle having lower net-zero CO2 emissions. The FIA has given the green light to the new regulations that will make F1 more environmentally friendly. What do you think? Will it be even more fun to watch with the new engines? Find out in this new video. Hey folks, welcome back to Racing Insights. In today's video, we are going to talk about new engines for 2026 and how Audi is preparing for 2026. So stay with us till the end of this video so you don't miss out on any of this information. But before we proceed, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and click on the bell symbol so that you don't miss out on any of our wonderful videos in the future. And let's get started. The new power unit regulations for the Formula One season in 2026 have been approved by the FIA World Motorsport Council. The two most important features of these new restrictions are that automobiles will have an increase in their electrical power and that they will only be permitted to run on fuels that are entirely sustainable. Despite this, the core configuration of the engine will not be affected by the new laws. The 1.6-liter V6 twin-turbo hybrid power unit will continue to be used, but the new regulations will dictate how the power is generated. Therefore, the Formula One car will continue to generate over 1,000 horsepower, but it will do so in a manner that is more fuel-efficient and consumes less fuel overall. Ice with a lower power level the power output of the twin-turbo V6 engine is going to be decreased by 38% in 2026, and the new target output is going to be 536 horsepower. Because the FIA has decreased the fuel supply to the engine for 2026, more on that later, these new engines will not be as noisy. This will also have the effect of reducing the number of times per minute that the engine is revving. As a result, the new units will have a lower audible exhaust note. MGUH was taken out and MGUK was put in its place. The motor generator unit, Heat MGUH, which derives its power from the heat generated by the exhaust fumes, will be banned by the FIA. The removal of the MGUH unit will result in a reduction in throttle response, which will in turn result in an increase in turbo lag because this is utilized to speed up the turbo and reduce lag. This power void, which will be created as a result of the elimination of the MGUH, will be filled by a more potent hybrid unit that goes by the name of the Motor Generator Unit K. This powerful electric motor unit with 468 horsepower will be able to recover the energy that is created when braking. In essence, an improved and more potent kinetic energy recovery system. Because of this rise in regenerative braking, the function of the friction brakes that are located on the rear axles will be eliminated. The MGUH also had a very little to no relevance to road vehicles, which meant that the creation of this component was rather pricey and required the use of a number of unusual materials. With the MGUH being removed, manufacturers like Porsche and Audi will be able to enter the sport, even if they were hesitant to do so earlier, since it would need them to invest in the creation of such an expensive one-off power unit. Enhanced sense of security. This brand new MGUK unit will be installed inside the chassis, specifically in the safety cell that houses the battery, as well as the control electronics and any other high-voltage equipment that may be present. As a result, the automobile is now safer than it was before, and the risk of a fire starting due to heat has been significantly reduced. New Fuel This information was provided in a previous announcement. When 2026 rolls around, the Formula One cars will be fueled by a completely new biofuel. The emissions from this new fuel will be net zero, which means that they will not add any additional carbon dioxide to the atmosphere. Other environmentally friendly practices, such as recycling batteries and MGUK cobalt as they reach the end of their useful lives, will also be implemented beginning with the 2026 racing season. Less fuel As the use of electric power becomes more widespread, there will be less of a demand for fossil fuels. In point of fact, the new biofuels that will be employed will be measured in terms of energy rather than volume. These biofuels will be completely free of emissions. Because of this change in the pace at which gasoline is dispensed, producers will need to devise fresh and novel approaches to generate the most possible power from the least amount of fuel possible. In point of fact, F1 has set the goal for 2026 to reduce the amount of gasoline required for each car to run a race of 70 kg. 
This is a significant cut from the current 100 kg of fuel that each car consumes over the entirety of the race. A little more than a week after the approval of new engine regulations by Formula One, which will take effect in 2026, Audi made the official announcement that it intends to compete in the premier open-wheel motorsport series. The German automaker Audi has announced its intention to begin supplying engines beginning in the 2026 season, which means that its arrival into F1 will coincide with the beginning of the new engine rules. It will be the first time in more than a decade that an F1 powertrain will be constructed in Germany, and it will take place at the Audi Sport Plant in Neuburg, where Audi will build its power unit. The introduction of new power unit suppliers is one of the stated objectives of the revamped F1 engine regulations. In Formula One, the turbocharged 1.6-liter V6 engines that will be used beginning in 2026 will run on fuel that is entirely renewable, and the electric component of the hybrid powertrain will produce three times the power that is produced by the current setup. These are the two of the factors that Audi has stated explicitly were essential to its decision to join F1. The output of the MGUK, which collects kinetic energy and distributes electrical energy via the crankshaft, is expected to nearly quadruple beginning in 2026, reaching 350 kilowatts, which is equivalent to approximately 469 horsepower. Because of this, the overall output of the system will be increased too far by over 1,000 horses. In the present F1 power unit, the MGUH collects heat energy from the exhaust gases in the turbocharger and can deploy electrical energy to alleviate turbo lag. This component of the power unit is scheduled to be removed in 2026. Because of the greater reliance on electricity, the total amount of fuel consumed in a race will decline from 100 kg to 70 kg and the removal of the MGUH, along with a number of other measures, is designed to reduce expenses. Images of an F1 car with an Audi livery were included with the announcement of the partnership. Having said that, you should take this image with a grain of salt because it may not accurately represent the appearance of the actual Audi-powered Formula One cars that will compete in the 2026 season. Although Audi will not be fielding its own car, the company will supply powertrains to at least one of the competing teams. The company has stated that it will disclose which team they intend to collaborate with by the time 2022 comes to a close. It is expected that this team will be Sauber, which also made an announcement today stating that its commercial and technical association with Alfa Romeo will come to an end with the 2023 season. If the team is able to keep its current position in the championship standings, it will have achieved its best finish since the 2012 season. Alfa Romeo Sauber is now in sixth place. There have been rumblings for years about the likelihood of Audi competing in F1. According to Audi, the company's primary focus right now is on recruiting new employees and locating the necessary technological infrastructure and buildings in order to create the power units. These components should be in place by the end of the year, which will provide Audi with three years to construct its power unit before the start of the 2026 season. Given that Porsche is said to be entering F1 as an engine supplier in 2026, most likely alongside Red Bull Racing, 2026 is poised to be a crucial one for the premier motorsport series in the entire world. What do you guys think about Audi's decision? Do let us know in the comments section below. And that's it for today, guys. We sincerely hope you enjoyed the video. If so, please click on the like button and share it with your friends and family. If you have any questions or comments, please share them with us in the comment space below. Also, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to see even more of our incredible videos. You can also check out our other videos that have been specially selected for you. We'll catch up in the next video.